If, if you were to look back over the last five years and examine the rosters of uh, our high school and college and ask yourself where some of those young people are, you would probably find that many of them are kind of stuck in neutral right now because after getting out of high school and going to college, their, their confidence in the Bible has been eroded and they, they kind of feel stuck uh, because when they go to the Bible, they're not sure it's true, but yet it's the Bible is the only source. Uh, the scriptures say, uh, my soul cleaves to the dust. How do we get quickened when we're absolutely paralyzed with despair? By taking heed to your word. But if you're not sure it's his word, you can't get quickened. Uh, John 17, 17 that we're going to tonight says, sanctify them through thy truth. And the only way to recover from any besetting sin is through sanctification. Sanctification is God's recovery program. But if this isn't the word of God, then we're stuck. We're beset with that sin. We're enslaved or trapped. See, it, it's, it's kind of a, a very difficult situation to come to a place where you're unprepared to know why you can place your faith completely in the Christ revealed in this book. But it's impossible to be saved without this book. See, faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the what? Word of God. See, uh, and, and what, what is amazing is the gradual letting go of the firm grasp on the, the authority of the Word of God, the inerrancy of the Scriptures, and the reliability of the Word of God. When W.A. Criswell, one of my heroes, began pastoring First Baptist Church of Dallas. Uh, he took his Bible and he said, and, and this was in the 40s, and he took his Bible and he says, if you don't believe in creation, and he reached in his Bible and he took the book of Genesis, he actually literally tore it out of his Bible and threw it at the congregation. It just fell like this. And he said, if you don't believe in the uh, the scriptures as it talks about the end times and he took revelation he took it and threw it and he says and then if you deny the deity of Christ and he tore out the gospels and threw them and he says and then if you start questioning the miracles that are in the Old Testament and he started throwing that and then what he finally did is he just held up the leather cover he said that's all you have left nothing as soon as you start denying pieces